looms as quite possibly the final day of this legislative session. And lawmakers got the week rolling today by passing a bill aimed at improving the Valley's questionable air quality. Senior political reporter Scott Logan has more from the legislature. The bill would allow the state to order vehicle emissions testing anywhere, including Canyon County, when new federal air standards are threatened. The measure already passed the House Monday. It cleared the Senate 20 to 15 and is expected to be signed by the governor. This is tremendously important to the Treasure Valley, not just for public health and quality of life, but for our economy. Some Canyon County lawmakers are unconvinced. Why are you opposed to vehicle emission testing in Canyon County? Because we feel like it's not necessary. There's several states that are dropping their emissions uh, programs, finding out that they are um, not um, viable. The bill lets communities opt out of emission testing if they show another way to reduce pollution. And these empty boxes stacked against the walls of the Capitol Annex show lawmakers are ready to pack it in. But it looks like the going home legislation will be how to pay for an estimated $240 million needed for urgent road repairs and maintenance. In fact, the House didn't even convene Monday while members worked in committee on road bills for the Senate to consider. I, as the, the chairman of the Senate Transportation Committee, am anxiously awaiting uh, the bills to come over from the House. How the transportation puzzle will be resolved is anyone's guess, but everyone agrees it's unacceptable if the road leads to a dead end. At the Capitol Annex, Scott Logan, CBS2 Eyewitness News. And Scott says late this afternoon, the Senate passed the next round of Garvey bonds for highway construction. It has already been passed by the House and now heads to the governor's desk. Most of the $134 million will be spent to improve freeways in the Treasure Valley. Ada County does it, and soon it appears Canyon County will too. The legislature is considering a bill that would force all cars in Canyon County to have an emissions test. Before Michelle Stark joins us live with the details. Michelle, today the Idaho Senate approved a bill that would allow for a ve a vehicle emission testing in Canyon County, but not everybody thinks that's such a good idea. Air quality, it's a growing problem across the Treasure Valley, and now the Idaho legislature has approved a bill to help cut pollution from cars. We're generally supportive of this legislation. Um, you know, any emissions reductions is a good thing. The bill gives the Department of Environmental Quality authority to implement emission testing anywhere in the state where cars are a main polluter and where ozone is close to topping federal standards. That would apply to exactly one county right now where emission testing isn't already being done, Canyon County. But the DEQ says local governments don't have to surrender control since the bill gives them a chance to design their own emission testing plans. They also, also have the option of not doing it at all if they could come up with a different control measure that has similar emissions reductions. We all want clean air and clean water and a clean environment, but this bill was not a fair bill. New Plymouth Senator Monty Pierce says the bill lets industry polluters off the hook and with exemptions for farming and newer vehicles transfers too much burden to average drivers, especially the Treasure Valley's poorer residents. And those are the people that are going to have the problems and they're not just going to get a $20 fee, they're also going to get a $500 bill or something else to put their car in compliance. This was a close vote, 20 to 15, in favor of approval, clearly showing not everybody wanted this bill to go forward. It now goes to the governor's desk to await his signature and be signed into law. Reporting live in Boise, Michelle Stark, today's Channel 6 News.